Hi, this is Andrew from Kite Army. Today I'm going to show you how to do a really cool uh, project, possibly for Boy Scouts. That's what I'm planning to do this for. And it demonstrates to you the laws of magnetism and electric flow. And it's kind of cool. There's a lot of uh, value to this little demonstration. And the boys are going to really love it. So you can see here, this is a monopolar um, motor. It's probably one of the most simple motors you can build. Basically, the parts are magnets super strong magnets, a double A battery, I have a washer on top and some copper coil running around. And the forces between the magnet and the coil uh, result in uh, that motor type movement. So it's really a lot of result for little effort and little parts. And I'm gonna walk you through the process. I put together a sheet really quick, uh, walk you through the step. Step number one, we're gonna cut the length. It's about a foot long of copper. And where I got this copper from is uh, 14 gauge household wire. I just basically stripped off all the, the casing and on the inside you get this nice piece of copper about a foot long, okay? Then what you're gonna do is, with a few, t a few pliers, a few tools actually, take the copper and split it in half, okay? Or bend it in half. You get this little top piece right here and you crush it down about a quarter of an inch and bend once you've made that like that. So that's step two. You make that piece right there. Step three in this case, I've got just a bottle that's the perfect shape here where I've made a little slit there to insert it. And this is to actually get a perfect round form. So what I do is I wrap it around that bottle like so. And if you use 14 gauge wire, you're gonna find it's really easy to bend this. Once you've got it wrapped around there, you've got the round shape, give or take. You can kind of just play with it like that. And that gets us to step three, okay, where we've got the pieces like that. Now what you gotta do, this is the trickiest part. What you wanna do is with these little bottom pieces, kind of, bend them so they go around the magnets at the bottom. So what I'm going to suggest is go like that and then bend them back. So you get a curve or a little dent, if you will. And do that on the other side. Bend, bend, and you get something that looks like that, okay? And that's supposed to be represented right here in step four. So step five is go have some fun. So what you're going to do is I have the magnets, these high strength magnets, super glued to the board or in this case I hot glued them to the board and then you just have the magnet stacked up on there just so you have some height. I have a battery that I put a washer on the top of just so this little pin ops top won't fall out and let's give it a go. Let's see if my my first attempt, live attempt, will do the trick. So you kind of have to sometimes adjust it just a little bit so the height's right and there's not too much pressure on the, it's trying to go, I felt at that time. And there you have it. So what I wanna do, and you can see, wow, that one really <laughs> went like crazy. What I wanna do is I wanna have the kids build these, these rings, all right? And I've got three batteries lined up there and you know, you wanna try to make this learning fun. So I'm gonna have them put them on there and see who will go spin the fastest. And you can kind of adjust them and tune them so they'll uh, go faster. You can adjust the center of balance here the, where so everything's smooth and balanced over on the, those spinning parts of the motor and you get a great result. But anyway, in a nutshell, that's kind of something to start with. I might at the end of the video post these instructions so you can review them, uh, but that's it. My name's Andrew, I'm from Kite Army. I hope you like this video and subscribe to my channel.